Hi, I'm Jay Lee. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at Johns Hopkins and I specialize in sports medicine. Today we're going to discuss implants. Oftentimes we get asked by parents when their kid has a fracture about implants. They wonder what is the pin, the rod, the screw, and the plate that we're going to put inside their kid. So this here is a pin. The pin is sharp on one end, it's made of metal, and it's actually fairly thick in diameter and it's fairly strong. These can be used to percutaneously or through the skin fix a fracture. We oftentimes will put nails into our patient's fractures as well. This nail here is made of titanium. It came straight but was molded for a patient's fracture. It actually does not have a sharp end but it does have a curve naturally at the end. And these nails are fairly rigid as well. Bending it results in it sort of flexing back to its original position. This here is a screw. A screw is pretty similar to what you would find at a hardware store except for it's sterile and it's fairly expensive. The screw itself provides good stability in holding a plate or two ends of a fracture together. This is a model bone and the plate itself is this structure right over here. This structure here holds several screws and it's used to connect, in this case, six screws to help hold a fracture in place. These are pretty typical of the implants we'll put in young children with fractures to help their fractures heal. If you have any questions, please reach out and give us a call. Yes. <laughs>